consumer advocate group Choice says some retailers could be breaching the Privacy Act because of their use of facial recognition technology. Stores, including Kmart, Bunnings and The Good Guys, are using the technology to prevent theft and antisocial behaviour. The collection of biometric data is becoming more pervasive and difficult to avoid, prompting calls for greater protections. Let's discuss this now with Samantha Floriani, who's the program lead of Digital Rights Watch. Thanks for joining us, Samantha. Let's just start with your reaction to that report from Choice today. Do you think stores should be using facial recognition tech? Absolutely not. This is a huge invasion of privacy and a completely unnecessary and disproportionate use of what is quite controversial technology. I think that people, you know, should be able to go and shop and go about their day to day lives, go and buy their hardware um, supplies without fear of being under constant surveillance. This is essentially the equivalent of walking into Kmart and having to hand over your fingerprints. So people are rightfully very concerned about it. And I share those concerns. The companies say this is about preventing shoplifting, it's about safety in their stores. Don't they have a duty to prevent that as much as possible as well? Of course, but what I would come back to are these three sort of questions of uh, necessity, proportionality and reasonableness. So, you know, firstly, flagging necessity. Is it necessary to use such invasive and problematic technology to be able to achieve that purpose. I would argue that it's not. We already have CCTV, which is widely used. Um, and s s take, for example, some other retailers that use uh, cameras which aren't recording, but, you know, they use it to create this sense of, um, you know, maybe you're always being watched to try and prevent people from from shoplifting. Um, I, I think we need to really question whether it's where, whether it's necessary to use this technology. And then after that, we need to think about: Is it reasonable? Is it reasonable to have the equivalent of your fingerprint collected every time you go into one of these stores to go about your shopping? And then, is it proportionate? Is the invasion of privacy and all of the privacy and security and human rights risks that come with this technology proportionate? to that purpose of preventing theft and, and loss of, of stock. And I think on all fronts, we can safely say that it's, it's not. You can argue it's maybe immoral. Do you think there could also be legal issues here? Absolutely. So under the Privacy Act, biometric information, so when facial recognition works, what it does is it essentially takes the structure and features of your face to create a face print, and then you can compare that face print with other face prints in a database. So that information is biometric information, which falls under sensitive information under the Privacy Act. The Privacy Act requires additional protections for these types of information because of its nature, because it can so readily cause harm and be misused or abused. So one of the things it requires generally is to obtain consent. So these stores have uh, signs at the, at the entrances saying that they're using this technology. But one of the findings that the team at Choice found was that over 75% of people don't actually know that this is going on. So for one thing, the notice function isn't really working. And for the other, for the other point is that notice is not the same as consent. Simply telling someone that you're using this technology is not the same as getting meaningful consent from people. So I would argue that it is already out of line with the Privacy Act. On top of that, though, um, we do need additional protections around the use of this technology. Facial recognition is pretty really widely understood to have a lot of uh, biases and um, high rates of uh, errors or inaccurac inaccuracies, especially on uh, people who have darker skin tones. And so we really do need some additional legal protections to make sure that people's rights are being protected when it comes to rolling out these kinds of technologies. We know supermarkets, retail shops, they have CCTV in place. You know, supermarkets track people's purchases through loyalty cards and things um, like that. I guess you could look at this potentially as the natural evolution uh, in some of those ways that customers are being tracked. Is that, is that you know, just the way things are going? I mean, we could look at that at it that way. We could look at it as a uh, normalization of surveillance, but I think that it's worth pausing and and really thinking critically about whether these are the types of technologies that we want to see widely used in our society. In Australia, we haven't really had a chance to have a robust public debate about whether or not we are okay with this kind of technology being used in our day-to-day -day lives. And so I think that it's really important that we stop 
and think about the consequences before we just push ahead. One of the things that lots of privacy advocates um, have called for, including the former Human Rights Commissioner Ed Santo, is a moratorium on the use of facial recognition until we have really robust protections to make sure that this technology isn't being abused and that the personal information, the very sensitive data that is your face, isn't going to be uh, misused down the line, which can lead to all kinds of harm, like discrimination or, um, you know, really uh, it, terrible outcomes when it comes to uh, security and privacy and data breaches. Uh, and just briefly, uh, if a consumer has thought about these issues, they've decided they're not happy and they don't want this sort of data collected, what, what can they do about this kind of surveillance? Do they just have to not go to supermarkets and uh, retail shops and, and department stores? Yeah, well, that's a really good question. It's really tricky because, you know, as this technology becomes more and more ubiquitous, it becomes harder and harder to say, for example, just not shop at Bunnings or just not shop at Kmart because other retailers will, uh, you know, start using this technology as well. So what I would encourage people to do is if you're uncomfortable with it, now's the time to speak up. We have a new government. Hopefully they will push forward with the, the current review of the Privacy Act that's happening. Um, they have an opportunity to, to create really robust protections for our rights in the digital age and we should really push for that they can also complain directly to the companies themselves and of course you can support organizations like choice or like digital rights watch or other organizations who are working to to push for really important change in this space so i do encourage people to if you're uncomfortable then speak up about it samantha floriani from digital rights watch we'll have to leave it there thank you